Okay, anyway, uh, we have seen now the casting area. This casting area, as we said, I would go over it one more time. Here we have uh, on the right side uh, the casting machine with on top a, a soldering system. This is another piece of top equipment. This casting machine uh, runs by argon, is induction, and uh, oxygen and argon comes to here. Of course, it needs some uh, super power, electrical power to, to work. And for this reason, I wanted to show how uh, the electrical system was done because nothing is left to, to be casual here. You see, there's uh, different magnets for different areas of this lab. And uh, there's some serious cables through this wall. I would like to open up uh, to show what kind of wiring there's here. And uh, each bend also has some interesting lightning. There's some interesting lightning here. On the benches you have these lamps. But anyway, let's get back to the casting. We have these two ovens and the soldering machine. There and there's a suction that goes through and up out of the roof. Uh, we have also, in case of emergency and for small framework or whatever, a uh, broken arm casting machine, especially for post cores. Um, then, as I said, uh, there's two systems for sandblasting. One is a, uh, when you first sandblast the piece to get the excess of investment off, and I use this system here. And then micro sandblasting, which is done with this techno gas, which is an excellent sandblaster. Now, of course, I brought my gas and my propane here. You see, there's some, uh, <laughs> there's this system with um, with copper tubes, and uh, whew, it runs all over the lab. So once I have my casting done, I come back in this room. Let's see what I do. And I come in this area, maybe it's a little bit too dark here, and I break out the material. Here it is, you can see, out in this bucket, away from the lab. This is uh, something that has to be special and special garbage. You cannot throw it everywhere. And I use the gun to break down, or the hammer, which are set in this position. Here's the hammer. Here's the hammer, and here's my, and here's my, uh, I don't know how you call this, but this does a lot of work also in here uh, let's come out now this room once this is set you have to finish the metal actually so uh, what I do I come back to the seat here and I use this hand piece here which has a lot of torque as I said to cut it off and I cut the casting and once it's cut here we go for some fine finishing. Matter of fact, I use a complete different kind of hand piece, different engine. Uh, I also have a Bionier turbine for uh, certain kind of things that need to be done. And I use all, as you can see, Comet. These are Comet burrs, stainless steel burrs. Now, if you notice also here, I have a piece of suction. This is my drawer for uh, that I use when I, when I'm uh, when I'm finishing when I'm finishing the metal. As you can see, um, I have brought up at a certain height all my plugs. This is more convenient. You can see it also behind here. You see they're everywhere, all brought on top of the benches. This is more convenient to control in case of uh, electrical hazard. Oh, by the way, these are my drawers. See, there's a lot of points. Try to keep them clean. Uh, I use a mask. I use a mask. I like to work under the microscope sometimes. And uh, when I need to do some margins or something, or I use my glasses that are here, my binocular, or I go in the other room where I do have my microscope.
So, once the metal is finished, it's brought down and, uh, and done the right way, once all that is over, uh, I'll go to my sand blaster, to my micro sand blaster, right here, and uh, I sand blast it, and once it's sand blasted, I move back in the prep room, and uh, I use my vapor, or I use my ultrasonic. Depends. Different uses for different situations. Uh, once this is done, they get dried off. I can use my air gun or whatever. There it is. Have air. Um, it's difficult to notice everything there's in here, but there's a lot of stuff to get a lab done. <laughs> and this position here, this is where I do uh, the metal conditioning actually on this oven right here. And besides the metal conditioning, I also do my opaque in this area. Uh, no ceramic is done here, no porcelains are done, but just opaque and metal conditioning. You see, uh, in the beginning, this lab was the two rooms that you just seen the prep room and this room here in the beginning. Then, after two years of function, things got a little bit busier. I opened this window here, this big window, which gives in another room where we'll see tomorrow. We will see uh, the porcelain room where the grinding is done and everything else. Um, so actually, uh, once the work is uh, conditioned and once it's opaque, uh, you see, I even used to use when I used to use powder opaques. I had this electrical system here, but now we're using. Uh, mostly uh, paste opaques, which are really nice. And uh, you don't need any more of that. You just need a simple brush like this one that's on the glass right now. And uh, anyway, this is for what's concerned uh, this area. I will show the room again slowly. I'll just go over it again. First precision for the dies cutting the metal off the crucible. Two hand pieces, one has more torque in this position. Then for diagnostic waxes, uh, custom trays. Oh, here I have one custom tray. You see, sometimes we even do uh, some little custom trays. Like you see, there's a single unit that we're having problems having a, a right impression. So what we do, we make uh, just a small coping. Oops, there it goes. We make a small coping like this. And uh, you put in the impression material and you push it in the mouth and you get a fine reading of that single, that single preparation. And then, once this is done, you, put, uh, you take an impression with, uh, with alginate and it's done. So, uh, as I was saying, uh, from here we move to uh, waxing, waxing the frames, and uh, besides waxing the frames here we do sprueing. This area is for the casting, right here, first in the oven, then on the casting machine, on the Enterprise, and if we're going to do some soldering, it depends, we might use this, or we might use the microflame, autogena. Once that is done, we go to our sand blasters. Once that is done, we can cut our metal in this area again. Then metal finishing. Right here, we do our fine metal finishing in this area. And here we got the conditioning of the metal and the opaquing. Oh, by the way, this room has three nice windows. It's a corner room, which looks downstairs. And from this window here, it's a nasty night tonight. Very little people. That's Main Street. You can see Main Street. And if you look up there, you can see a corner of the building where I live. Anyway, we'll see that later in another, in another moment. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Oh, by the way, this last piece of equipment. This I take shades with. This is a fine baby here. I can take shades. A person comes in. Uh, they put their face on the other side. I put my eyes in here. I, I turn on the light and I can see exactly the color of their teeth. Nice piece of equipment.